I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make quick decisions during the Charleston. You might think to yourself, well, why do I want to make quick decisions? There are a few reasons why you would want to do that. One, if you ever want to play online, some of the games are timed and you need, and you need to make really quick decisions, like eight seconds during the Charleston or even during the pick and discard phase. Another reason might be that you play with people who are more experienced than you. So they play quick. If you practice doing sprints, it might quicken your decision making and at least alleviate the anxiety of making quick decisions. Because even if you make a mistake or the wrong decision, you can recover later in the game because American Mahjong is pretty flexible. The other reason why you might want to practice making quick decisions is if you ever want to play in a competitive event where they have four games in 50 or 55 minutes. That means you got to play a 12 minute game. And if you're going to do a quick Charleston, you got to train for that. So this is a great way to do that. If you have tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to start with dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles. Then we'll be non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles, and then we'll get 14 again. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. Wow, four jokers, three, five, six, two, seven, eight, seven, sevens, five, six. Okay, there's two, three. Let's send off a, an east and focus on five, six, seven, eight. A five. There's some dragons. One and south. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, five, seven, seven, nine, dragon. Let's let a dragon go. Six dot, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, check that out. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh my gosh, look, we got a five. Oh boy, we're going to pass these three. No keepers. Let's pass these three. A flower, ooh, let's pass these three. Sevens, oh my goodness. Five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're on last right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass two. Twos, oh my goodness. Okay, let's just pass one and optional. one <laughs> lap. Okay, so we have two discards, really three discards. I would maybe play five, six, seven, eight, nine. These would be the nine cracks. We're, we're set. Single pair Pung. We could Pung, Kong, and Kong. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. This kind of threw me a little bit, which is one reason why this is a good exercise, because even if you get wacky passes, you can still make those quick decisions. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, right, sprint one and what you would have done. There, there was potential for big odds in here because we had a lot of five, seven, but I think only one nine. 
a nine dot, nine crack. There was a nine crack, there's a nine dot. So yeah, I think there was some big odd potential in here. All right, let's do sprint two. Flowers, West, Red, three, five, six, seven, three, crack, two, flowers. Maybe we could play like numbers or maybe even a quint. Let's pass these three. Oh my goodness. We don't need five, uh, five flowers, six flowers. We don't need all that, but we could do four flowers four flowers. Okay, so we have two, three. Let's see about maybe playing that quint. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's pass these three. Oh no. We're kind of dwindling our potential here with keepers because of all these flowers. Yikes. <gasps> we got a keeper. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're playing a, oh my gosh, look. And we have to pass across. Three, two, Quint. Okay, let's pass a pair. <laughs> I very rarely would ever do that. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to keep going. We're gonna play a Quint here. Maybe the risk is worth it. Oh man, this is crazy. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I would really ever do that in a game. But look at this quint that we have here. Let's lap. Okay, two, three. Oh, we needed one of those flowers. Shoot. Well, we could Kong. And we just need two jokers. Oh my gosh, would you have passed that many flowers? We really needed one of them. Oh, I think I was a little flustered by flowers. Don't get flustered by flowers. It should be a rarity to pass them. But if you're gonna play a big hand, it might be worth it. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. Maybe we could even default to like numbers. Like numbers with threes, if we don't get jokers. Yikes, that was kind of scary. Joker, pair of flowers, north and south, one, five in cracks, eight, nine, two, three, eight, nine in bams, two, three, nine, or two, three, eight in dots, two, three, maybe a year hand. We have a pair of flowers. Let's break up the winds. How about that? Fives. Maybe we could switch to little odds. One, three, five. Oh, we have three tiles. Pair of west, seven. Uh, one, two, three, two, three, one, three, five, three, five, five, one, three, five, five. Okay, one, three, five, five. Let's let the two band go. 
flower, three dot. Okay, west and south. Let's get the two out there. One, three, five, five. One, three, five, five. Let's see. Let's do these three. Two, eight, nine. Let's keep the two and pass the south. Five crack, that's a keeper. Let's do six, three, four. One dot, pair. One, three, five, five flowers. Discards. Lap. Okay, we have a hand. One, three, five, five. Third hand from the bottom. Kong, pair, pair. Pong, pong, discards. We're a front runner here. This could be a, a winner, maybe even pure. We have only one joker. Three discards. That was a really good Charleston for little odds. If you would have done something differently, write sprint three and what you would have done with these tiles. Let's see how things went with time. The guidelines I recommend for decision making during the Charleston are for beginners, a four minute average during the exercise. For intermediate players, a three minute average. And then for advanced players, under two minutes. If you wanna know more about these guidelines, look for a link in the video description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.